Hello, Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another video tutorial for Balboa Gallery. In this video, I want to do a demo review back in and front end, like a combination, uh, so you can see how to utilize this extension for your business. So, if you have a lot of images, or if you want to present your images in a professional, in a very clean manner, this extension is really great. I've used it before, I use it now, it's super, super clean. So if you're looking for something to, you know, upload your images in, you know, this said pictures worth a thousand words. Well, I think when you use this gallery, your picture's gonna be worth twenty thousand words because it just enhances things to make it look so much better. So let's take a look at the front end. So when you log into the back end, it shows you all the different uh categories that you can have. And I'm going to be showing you step by step how to build a gallery from scratch, how to change the settings, how to tweak things, how to add watermarks and give it a different look. So let's take a look now on the front end what it looks like. So this here is just a grid option layout that you can choose and there's so many options you can choose from. As you're scrolling down, you notice that you can highlight over, you click on it, it opens up nicely. And you can also incorporate video in this and I'm going to show you, you know, show you that too. So as you're scrolling down, it gives you, you know, a lot of different options. It's very clean so you can choose a portrait you can choose landscape. So if you want to showcase some of your work, maybe you're a photographer or even a videographer, you want to showcase some of your work in a really clean, elegant, professional way. Well, this extension is going to do that for you because you can add different uh, tags here and connect those tags with your photos or your videos. So you go to city, it has some city stuff here. So now let's go over to uh, to the grid layout. So you have different layouts. You have justify, you have the masonry, you have the metro, you have tile, grid, and square. So based on the layout that you want, uh, you can choose that from there. So when you choose the masonry grid, you notice that it gives you this layout. And let's choose something else. Let's go to metro. And this the metro. And you can go to the grid. You can choose the square. So you want to go over to the hover. So these are the hover effects. Sometimes when you put your your mouse over something you have the option of choosing the type of hover effect that you want so you just go over to uh, caption hover I'm just going to choose a random here number seven so with number seven effect when you put your mouse on you notice that it, it zooms in on this particular image so if you're trying to get this effect for an image you can use caption um, hover number seven and let's say we choose number nine it does the same thing but it just kinda you know gives a different effect with the text so you go in here, you choose and play around with the type of hover effect that you're looking for. And then with the number 12, you have this other option here, it shows the text at the bottom. So it gives like a Pinterest type of style into it. And then you can choose the pagination. Do you want it to load infinitely? Or do you want to set the pagination so it has to load more? So let's go to load more. And what this is going to do is you can have a certain number of photos that's visible. And when you get to the bottom of that, it's going to have this button that says load more. So if you have a lot of photos that you want to showcase, uh, you can use this as another option to click load more. And it's going to load more. And when they get to the bottom of the next set, you click load more and it loads more. So you can set how many photos you want to pre-show before. So let's say, for example, you had 20 photos and you want people to see, you know, five at a time. Well, you can set that on the back end, which I'm going to show you how to do that. So after every five photos, you're going to have the, the load more option there for, for people to choose. And then you can also choose infinite, which means this is going to show infinite. Just keep loading as a scroll down, as it keep showing uh, more and more. So something like this, you notice as you scroll down, it opens up more. When you reach reaches the end, more just keeps showing up. So that's another option you can use. And then you have the slider. Now the sliders are really great if you want to put this on like a, a header or like a hero spot on your website, where someone can be able to just you know click on the next one and it shows showcase the next image. So that's another option there. And then you have the filter and tag. You can put colors. You can have the the albums. You can put the albums in the light box, meaning that when someone click on it, it's going to pop up. So now you have a bunch of photos here. And the nature you have the landscape. So when I click on nature, for example. It's going to pop up and show all the photos that are part of this nature. Now, this real, that's a great way to do this because I've seen certain websites where you click here and it takes you here, it takes you there. But this one, everything's like in a modal form where you click on that and it pops it up right there for you. And you also have the ability for commenting here. So you can use discuss all this uh, contact here, contact uh, comment plugin. 
that you can also incorporate so people can leave comments about your photos, about your videos, about pretty much anything here. So for example, you have a photo gallery, someone clicks on this, they're going to be able to leave a comment about this. And also you note here that people can be able to like as well. It shows them in the like they can share. They can also download. You can enable that feature or you can disable it and it's used on the back end. And then you have the random sort and you have image description. You can have the image description on the you know on the right, the left, or below. You have the category description. You have the video and iframe. So if you have some videos that you want to showcase in this format, which I've used before and I absolutely love it, you can do this. So let's go to Vimeo or YouTube or even SoundCloud. So you have a video from YouTube and you're trying to showcase it in a very clean uh, and a professional manner. Well, let's check it out here. So there's your video coming straight from YouTube. You can also in incorporate Vimeo and also SoundCloud and you can have a watermark. So you want to protect your images. That's a great way to do it. So you click on this one and you have the image, the, the, the watermark right here at the bottom of it. So that's a great way for you to have, you know, your images protected. So when people, you know, download or whatever, they know that image, you know, comes from your, your website. And with each gallery, you can be able to change the settings for it, which I'm going to cover later on, but it gives you all of this here. So as we're creating different galleries and different styles and options, I'm going to show you how to use that and how to make it look the best for your website. So thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom so that anytime I release a new video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.